Hi ho there my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my lovies. If you're new here, well, I'm Shorty Vaughn. I'm four foot five. Like to cook budget meals. And now I also cook low carb and, you know, low sodium. So you add as much salt as you can take. Yay, hooray. If you can have the extra carbs, you go for it, baby. Treat yourself. I'm not going to say no. What are we going to make today? A boneless, skinless chicken breast uh, that will be Caesar flavored, topped with a little crunchy topping and Parmesan cheese. Yay, hooray, doesn't that sound delicious? We're also going to have some asparagus to go with that. Won't hurt a bit. Let's get down to it because I'm hungry and it's almost dark. It's, yeah. It's almost dark. We got to get going. We got to get going so we can watch Jeopardy. Okay, so I'm going to get my asparagus ready first. So I brought it home from the grocery store. I washed it, put it in this mason jar with a little tiny bit of water and some uh, lemon juice. And I think that that keeps my asparagus nicest the longest. Nothing wrong with that because, you know, we paid for it. I want to eat it before it goes wonky. So I just take my asparagus, chop it in half like that, and then I'm going to use this as my guide for the rest of them. That's where I'm going to give them a good old chippity chop right there. I like the really thin ones. They have thicker ones too. I think they're both delicious. The thin is my preference. You get the ones that appeal to you, lovies. Absolutely. So I'm just give those a chop, put those in there. Now the harder, woodier parts, I'm not going to throw those away. I've got a um, veg bag in my freezer for my veg scraps. And so I will put those in there. We won't let anything go to waste. It's too expensive. A little bit. Alright. Give them a good old chop. We're making a lot of asparagus today. Because Andrew and I both love it. So. We don't want to fight over it. I'm too tired to arm wrestle him over the asparagus. And, I hate it when he cries when he loses. All right. And I just, you could steam these. You can, you know, do all kinds of things with them. They're good right out of the microwave. I'm not mad at them at all. But I just like to put mine in this little small casserole dish. And I like to just add a little bit of butter. So I've probably got about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and just smear that right on top. And my butter is salted, so it's not gonna get any more seasoning except for some lovely cracked black pepper. And wouldn't you know it, that's what I forgot to do today. I knew I would give or have that day where you know you're just forgetting something and Every time you go to do it and you remember and you turn around and you've forgotten already, yeah, that's the day I'm having. I forgot to fill the pepper grinder. Let's do it now. Found him. Hey, right. Skippy, skippy. All right. So let's go ahead and fill my pepper grinder. And I'm almost out of these. That's sad. I get these over at the Costco. I think they're a great price over there. And Andrew was just mentioning like three other things that we're out of. And there is a trip to Costco in my near future. And I, peppercorns, um, what, refill soap for the, um, the hand soap. And then shower soap. Yeah, we're almost out of that. Um, he needed sh some shampoo. Anyhow, the list just gets longer and longer and longer. And I hate that because that means that I'm going to spend a fortune at Costco. Oh, 
point that really was empty empty. What did I get done today? Let's see. Well, I altered my garden plan. So I had planned to really go to town and plant a very large garden. Um, because, you know, YouTube and, you know, you never know what's right around the corner and a good stock up and what have you. Um, but because I haven't been feeling so well, it didn't seem like a... I didn't want to create more work for Andrew because he is really picking up my slack around the house. So it didn't seem fair to burden him with also taking care of my very large garden. So I've only planted herbs this year. So today I spread my seeds um, for uh, dill because I love it. It's my favorite herb. Do you have a favorite herb? Let me know. It's my favorite herb. And then parsley, because you know, you always need a little bit of fresh parsley. I can't wait for this stuff to come up. Cilantro, basil. Um, I already grow rosemary for me. I am very fortunate because rosemary is um, a perennial bush that I grow in my yard. So I, that's already out there. Planted for some green onion and what else some bee balm and some lemon balm yeah both of those things for for the bees more so than for us though so that lemon balm that's really nice if you have a sore throat that's one of my favorite applications for it so yeah i did a little oh just spreading some seeds into the rows and just lightly covering them used up all my energy with that Pretty much that was the only thing that I got done. Let's go ahead and hit this asparagus with some of that lovely black pepper because like I said, my butter is salted so it won't need any more salt. Got my oven preheating to 400 degrees because that is my favorite cooking temperature. And honestly, that's all I'm gonna do with them. I like to roast that asparagus at about 400, 450 degrees. Maybe we'll split the difference and call it 425 today. Yeah, I can live with that. Um, because it will only take a few minutes to cook and I like just a tiniest little bit of char on it without being overcooked. I don't want it to be overcooked and kind of, you know, floppy. Yeah, that's the pits. Nobody likes that. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy this up. We'll be right back, get my chicken breasts all situated. Anyhow, I will save this container and wash it, remove the stickers, and get some of that goof off and remove the sticky part. I hate things that are sticky. And then I will go ahead and save this to put my dried herbs in as I harvest them from the garden. Fingers crossed, baby. Anyhow, yeah, why buy something else when I got, I already paid for this one. Hot diggity. Also, my veg bag was totally full. So, you know, it's time to make some stock. This is a bag from Mission Tortillas and it's a really good Ziploc. It doesn't have a hole in it and I did wash it out. And I think this is a good application for using a bag, reusing a bag for my veg stock. Um, this didn't contain up any potentially hazardous uh, foods. Those tortillas were pretty clean and then, you know, gave it a little scrubby dub. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna save my good plastic bags for another day and use this one for my veg strap for my, for my stock. Yeah, I can't wait for my stock. I got a um, turkey over at my fries. My baby sister had a day off on Friday and she called me up. You want to go out? Well, yeah. Where do you want to go? Can we go to the fries? Because that's just a little bit further than I can get in the mobility chair. So she took me over to the fries and it was spend $25 
and get your turkey for 99 cents. Well, you know, $25 goes like that, baby. You know, it's it's gone in a New York minute. So I got $25 worth of this and that, and then I got a 99 cent per pound turkey hot diggity. It's falling in my refrigerator right now because, you know, I told you that we're going to my sister Jackie's house for family dinner on Thanksgiving, and she is going to be making the spread, and I am, I'm, yeah, I'm not making any foods to take over there. I'm so excited, and I'm going to, I'm going to eat like nobody's business. Yeah, so, um, I didn't need a turkey for Thanksgiving, but I'm going to make one anyhow because it's a nice, lean, white meat protein, and, um, I'm going to, make it i'm gonna slice it all up we'll have it for dinner one night and then i'm gonna stock my refrigerator with 13 and a half pounds of turkey and then i'm gonna take the carcass and i'm gonna take all of my veg scraps and make delicious turkey stock you know you can use that in my opinion in exchange for chicken stock but we'll do that we'll do that probably sometime next week yay hooray all right, I'll get those into the freezer to get those going. Now I have another casserole dish because I've turned my oven on. We are just going to pack this full of our dinner tonight and it will be just fine. Here I have thawed two chicken breasts. And these were um, the frozen chicken breasts in the bag that I got as one of my free items over at my Albertsons, and they've got a little extra chicken juice. I'm gonna just drain that right off. We didn't need any extra chicken juice, that's for sure. I have some onion powder. And I just want to season these up a little bit. My preference is onion powder, not um, onion salt, but you do you. Who am I to say no? A little onion powder on this side. A little garlic powder. Hello, Gilroy. Thank you for the granulated garlic. And I always say thank you to Gilroy because if you have ever driven anywhere near Gilroy, California, the smell is overwhelming. Yeah, it's a lot of garlic. And they produce a lot, yeah, many millions of pounds of the nation's garlic. And they deserve our thanks because that is one strong smell in place. Thank you, oven. My oven preheated. Yay, hooray. Yippee, skippy. Peggy, did you hear the oven preheat and you came running? Oh, baby. He's such a good boy. He says, Mama, make the yums. I'm so hungry. All right. I also have a little bit of creamy Caesar dressing. And let me find my tablespoon. I'm not adding any salt to these chicken breasts because this Caesar dressing is going to be my salt. This has 250 milligrams per two tablespoons. So it will have plenty of salt to make sure that my chicken breasts are well seasoned. All right, there we go. Two tablespoons of the creamy Caesar. I think that that's a delicious dressing, and I am just going to go ahead and get these chicken breasts all covered in that dressing. Yay, hooray. You could do this beforehand and just let them sit in there and kind of marinate for a couple of hours. That would be fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I just didn't think about it, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've been trying to refill this pepper shaker, pepper grinder, all day long and couldn't remember. So, you know, yesterday I forgot to wear my apron. 
I'm just not right in the head. I'm also not that worried about it. All right, so we've got two chicken breasts. They are of similar thickness to allow them to cook um, in about the same amount of time. But one is a little bit smaller than the other. And I picked them that way in intentionally. One is for me, one is for Andrew. Let's go ahead and see if we can scrape some of this excess Caesar dressing right on top there. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Let me get my debris together. Let's give these a few good grinds on the old pepper mill since we got it all filled up. Yay, hooray, that smells good. Now, I had a bag of tortilla chips, and these are the crumbs that were left at the bottom. And I didn't want to eat them, and I didn't really want to throw them away, so it measured out about one-third and I'm just going to sprinkle these crumbs right over top of my chicken breast that's just going to allow for a great crispy crunch won't hurt a bit it will satisfy that little need that I have for carbs so about one third cup is about the equivalent of 10 carbohydrates so, yeah, we're adding 10 carbs to this chicken breast, and that is our big indulgence today. And I think that's going to be just fine. Yippee skippy. Okay, classic TV trivia time. I was watching Three's Company. Everybody remember Three's Company. On Three's Company, Jack, Janet, and Chrissy had two sets of landlords one was a couple what was their name yeah what were their names the couple that was jack janet and chrissy's landlord then they also had a single man who was their next landlord in later episodes does anyone remember his name let me know let me know down below all right, so there we go. We've got a little bit of the tortilla crust. Yippee skippy. And then I have some Parmesan cheese. Let's go ahead and add just a sprinkle on top of that Parmesan cheese. There we go. We're going to have a great crust. We're going to have a little bit of a carb crunch. Yay, hooray. I'm excited about that. And, oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven. Now, I think that these were going to take 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So I'm going to give them a little five minute jump start. And then I am going to go ahead and put my asparagus in right after that. I'm gonna put away my mess and I'm gonna get some disinfectant because I've been working with raw chicken and I've made, you know, a little bit of a mess. Wanna get that all cleaned up so that we're safe. Yeah, be crazy, not dangerous. Nobody wants a trip to the emergency room. That, that's no fun. Already, well, my Chicken has a five minute head start. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my asparagus in. Now I'm gonna go do a couple of things. Get all set up for dinner. Get Jeopardy all queued up. That way we can just grab our plates and go. Can't beat that with a stick. Oh my goodness, lovies. Well, I took these out. It smells so good in here. Yay, hooray. I took these out and they needed about five more minutes to get to a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees. And don't they look nice? Aren't those just beautiful? Yay for great. So let's 
So there we go, all set. My asparagus is all ready. Let's grab a couple of plates. A good pile of asparagus for each one of us. Yay, hooray. And a chicken breast. And one for me. Turn the oven off. We're also going to share a pair. That's how much I get, and that's how much he gets, but at least I get some. Can't complain about that. All right, my lovies, we've got some roasted asparagus. We've got a tortilla Caesar Parmesan chicken breast. I'm going to have a little pear with that. I think that looks delicious. Yay, hooray. All right, my lovies, be good, be careful. Look both ways. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. See you later.